We are activating your unique self-discovery one show at a time. The Orchard of Wisdom Self-Discovery Podcast at your fingertips. Just waiting to inspire and invite you in discovering just how awesome you really are. And how to navigate through life in joy, enrichment, personal abundance, in mind, body, spirit, heart and soul. All the people we bring you are here to serve you on your journey of life. Do enjoy our next show. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Choose Positive Living right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm your host, Sarah Troy, and my repeat guest is Yushi Untubi from Japan. He's a movie producer. And if you go and just put in his name, which I'm going to spell for you for the people who are listening, Yoshi, uh, Y-O-I-C-H-I, Intubi, U-T-E-B-I, Japanese movie producer. You just put that in selfdiscoverymedia.com search engine and you will see that this is now the fourth show that we are doing together. And he, he really does produce a lot of movies every year. There's at least two movies that go out. And just to hear a few titles, you know, Receiving Your Spiritual Warrior Guide Throughout Turbulent Times, The Real Exorcist, The Spiritual Truth, How to Keep Faith and Find Your North Star and Follow It. And, uh, and today is the movie on deflecting curses as a ban of negative thinking. Uh, and each one of these shows is always about bringing us back to to self, to core, to the spirit of who we really are and the connection that we have, whichever source that you follow. And today we're going to be talking about that negativity and how to change it around. And, you know, that is something that's really, really important. And it's, uh, you know, he says, polish your mind to repel negative influence and all ill wishes. The divine protector, the master salt begins. Uh, so we're going to find out what this movie is all about. Uh, for most of us, the word curse brings fantastical images of black magic, witches, cauldrons, and a little eye of the newt and toe of the frog to mind, especially as the Halloween season rolls around. But we may be tempted to believe that our are merely fantasies, curses can in fact be very, very real and manifest of negative thoughts. So how do we keep those negative thoughts aside? How do we embrace our positivity? How do we set ourselves in our own presence so we're always in our truth? Welcome back, Maldav. Hi, thank you for the, the perfect introduction. I appreciate it very much. You are getting really good at introducing myself. <laughs> <laughs> You know me well, about already. the fourth time if you get it right, right? <laughs> um, I always, it's always a delight to have you back. You're really passionate about what you do. And, you know, the movie producers like to see their movie go out there and kind of hit box office and all of that. But if for you, it, it's the importance about the message in the movie, what the message is, is, is saying. And so all of your movies are directed at something really connecting us to the spirit, the spirit mm -hmm. that lies within us. What is that driving force for you to get that message? across mm -hmm. well you know i mean i'm also uh, one of the producers but it's a, a big team of course so uh we have a original story writer who is always giving us providing us the story uh, who is uh, riho oka he's also executive producer and he is the founder of a spiritual group called happy science in japan and so that he is the source you know for all of us he mm -hmm. comes up with this great great storylines uh, inspirational storylines from you know heavenly world yes, and we channeled. receive them we receive them and there's script writers who will write down you know beautiful script and for their own you know the production process actually starts we have a beautiful director uh mr uh, akabane hiroshi akabane he's been with us for the past four or five years mm -hmm. he is a man and he's the one who actually you know, because we have 100% trust in him and he does a great job for us, the directing and putting these movies out to the world. And so from there on, you know, producers get together and support all the team. And I do a lot of activities like evangelizing this movie out to the world from Japan because, uh, you know, it's a great, great message that like you just explained to us. Uh, it's uh, something that is really needed and mm -hmm. it's really universal. The messages that we push out is not specific to a specific culture yes. or specific race or gender. It's just 
or the, even the you know how old you are you know yes. you can be a little kid to a, the elderly person it's just for everybody out there in this world so we just feel it's very important that uh, you know we we send out this message out as much as possible into the world that's why we do a lot of uh, english you know, translation we do a dubbing mm -hmm. we also translate to uh, different languages around the world and try to spread the message every time we come up with the movies so that's what we've but, been doing yeah. it's always based obviously you know in, uh, it's obviously about you know channeling the you know the the divine message god the universe mm -hmm. spirit energy whichever yeah. you wish to call it sure. uh, where it, it ignites our heart in truth that's right and that's our spirit right. goes into action our mind knows that's what it right. needs to know when it needs to know it sure. so yeah. it uh, and it's always based in that no matter what the storyline mm -hmm. is it's always yep. about coming back to our heart soul and spirit because that mm -hmm. has an intellect that That's is right. so based in truth that yep. our minds don't get in the way. Half the time, right. our minds is where the negativity, well, it's all the time. Mm -hmm. Our minds, uh, the way yeah. carry the negativity. That's it, right. It's what we attract. It's what we yeah. project. Mm -hmm. It's uh, mm -hmm. what guides our life until we realize this is an old programming yeah. that is not serving you. And that when you come home to the core of yourself, where you're united with the soul, heart and spirit, then you are actually very present in your life. Yeah. You can channel that beautiful wisdom mm -hmm. and you are in that beautiful divine truth where your spirit knows how to step into action. There is no negativity. There is no doubt, yeah. right? There is no fear because you are at one with yourself and with mm -hmm. the universe. And it's anything that kind of helps us come home to our own divine selves is always something that, and, and especially now in a world of turbulence, mm -hmm. we, you know, we really need to address that negativity because that negativity yep. is around us, but we don't have to absorb it and we can repel it with the love of self and love of uh, universe. That's right. Yeah. I mean, the world today, it's, it's always, this, that's, that's the world, the reason why we are living on this, this earth is, yes. it's a soul training, right? So yes. uh, if everything is perfect and beautiful and like all flowery around us always, then there's no training purpose for us yeah. to be here. So, you know, we have eternal life. We live, our soul just doesn't, yeah, and this, it's, this it's is just years. a vessel. That's it's just it. a, yeah. it just, a life vessel, it, yeah. <laughs> right. So, Earth is a great, great place for us to come down and in the practice uh, training and so on. So, there's going to be difficulties in hard times and hardships that we all encounter, which is already planned. Yes. Feel, yes. Right. So, we just have to like tackle it. But it's, it's really your mindset and your spiritual realization of your spirituality, how we can really overcome those issues and problems you face. It's really how you take it in and how you make it into your self-responsibility topic yes. and challenge them. So that's how we can really change your life into a bright and positive and you know beautiful life. And it's it doesn't work like that always, but no. you know, we gotta continue on and challenging. And you could you look around and work is not getting better and better, it's actually getting it looks, like, it looks like it's not getting better, right? Yes. I don't want to use right. the word getting worse, but it's just not getting any better. So it's not moving forward as it should. Yeah. Right. As we mm -hmm. as we go forward, you know, we uh, we have to keep tackling and challenging, and uh, you know, the yeah. things, the negative things that's happened around us, and always keep that positive mindset. So. Yeah, and th that's very very important. I. I had a gentleman on Mark Mathis, um, who is a, a reset guy, you know, trains people to reset. And, mm -hmm. and we were talking about kind of, although I am totally a person that comes and lives in spirit, I have the tendency of my old conditioning to interfere mm. or come right. in, right? And it's, it's an old verbiage, an old dialogue. And you yep. don't even, you're not even aware sometimes mm -hmm. of the things that you say or the tone of the vibration that you say it in, that actually it's it's being negative it's yep. uh, and it's pulling you down and it's stopping you from moving forward mm -hmm. and we don't realize that until somebody right. points it out and so he took me for a whole process of looking at mm -hmm. what is my conditioning mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how always to be present with self mm -hmm. and how you always come home to being present with self right. is always have a picture in mind of that is your ultimate peace that place mm -hmm. where you feel safe where you feel loved where you feel at home and yep. when you can envision that and you breathe in and you see that your entire body starts, mm -hmm. you know, 
yep. setting up the chakras line up your whole body is now in command yeah right because yep. you're in command with your spirit and your source mm -hmm. right yep. and all that negative talk you know has no chance mm -hmm. but sometimes yep. that negative talk because we don't realize it's going on in the background and if we're off kilter if our life is off balance or if we're getting negative reactions from people they're reflecting back what we're putting out mm -hmm. so if i'm getting negative reactions from people what am i projecting and why am i projecting it right and how can i reverberate so that i am back center with self mm -hmm. we have that responsibility and accountability to mm -hmm. take ownership of our own center don't we that's right definitely that's like in buddhism term it's called self-reflection you know you yes. have to always go back to yourself reflect upon your thoughts and deeds and action every day you gotta clean your, your, your spirit and your soul yes. every day because you know little garbages the worldly desires and attachment will just pile up on you here and there and there all the way yeah. and unless you take action to clean them up and you know really in tune yourself mm -hmm. to align yourself to a center of your spiritual state that you're talking about you just can't leave them alone because yeah. it will not go away it's just going to stay with you it's going to pile up you and a lot of times uh, the things that's happening around you in your life is what happened what you piled up on yourself mm -hmm after you were born yes before you were born you must be shiny bright and you have to believe it <laughs> yes. you know we are not born as as a, the, the child of the sinner we, we are not we yeah. are the bright light okay that's yes. something like a the basic teaching of buddhism uh that the, we are light itself we are part of god and buddha so when you're born a baby is a shining you know baby but as we go through five it's a 10, blank slate 20 years yeah. we start to attach to all these different yeah yeah. Things that's that's unnecessary but again yes. it's a soul training process yes, so one, it is. you just have to realize one day okay this is it i have to bring myself back to where i was i i supposed to be when i was like a born baby in order to do that you just have to take them away one by one and that's like an everyday process it that is. you have to do right and it's, and it's been aware it's been aware you know it's like right. ultimately what we want you to do is in the purity of your heart soul and spirit is mm -hmm. that you can you can swim amongst the sewage and mm -hmm. not be affected that's right, right exactly but to be in that presence because we are in a human vessel mm -hmm. having a human experience yep. we have an environment of turbulence around us yes. sometimes it's hard it's to kind hard. of become that center, <laughs> walk through the fire without getting yeah. burnt but it's but, so it, hard but when we train ourselves and we're conscious Mm -hmm. of what of how or who we are mm -hmm. what we I mean by always being present in the moment that's even right. if the moment is turbulence yeah you can find the calm mm -hmm. that's right you that's can right. go to the eye of the storm and just drop right out yeah. <laughs> right? that's right so the only way through uh, any form of negativity around you mm -hmm. is to go into that presence because that's when yep. you start channeling that's right. And it's when you channel pos everything positive, in positivity yes. in yourself. It's yes. an energy of love and giving and yes. all this beautiful energy that we we sh we already have inside ourselves. Yes. We just have to connect to it and just hold on to it <laughs> and yeah. try to try to spread it as much as possible to others. And yeah. that's a, another challenge that we all have as humans, but we have to spread that energy of love and right. Positive. We are the love. Yeah. We are love. Itself. we are That's the right. peace we are peace uh -huh. you know, yeah. if you're seeking peace be the peace if you're seeking love be the love that's right if you're seeking tranquility be the tranquility mm -hmm. everything we want in our exterior we must first have on in our interior That's right thoughts manifest we yes. are the living being of thoughts thinking yes. so it all comes from what we think and that is so true right? you know when you yeah. i have an 18 month old grandson and i when i watch him play and he's in his little world and his little face is making expressions as he's playing with his toys. And I have no idea what's going on in his mind, but he's in wonderment. He's in exploration and then he's mm -hmm. in joy. That's and right. then he's in tears and then he's back <sighs> into joy again. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is he is present all the time, mm. right? And then as they get older, we've got this human thing that we put expectation of, now you must conform. Right. Now That's you right. must do it this way. You mm -hmm. must do it that way. You must be this. You mm -hmm. can't be that. Yeah. And we killed the spirit that's in the child. That's right. 
And that exactly. is the, the spirit is their compass. It's mm -hmm. their conscience. It's the, the yep. whole guidance system. So we must mm -hmm. keep that spirit alive. That's right. Yeah. So don't ever lose the, the child in yourself. Yes. It doesn't mean stay being a child. Childish. Yeah, don't be it's childish. A, be childlike. Yes. You gotta be adult. <laughs> yeah. Be smart and be yeah. intelligent. Be conscious and mindful. But that the spirit of being in us innocent and in a child energy just frees all, I guess. You know. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want to do in your life. No, there's a thing of responsibility as part of a society. Yeah. It's again. You know, that's how we we uh, come together in harmony. If you lose that, then then we go into a war. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's into self. Um, self and what is the exterior war? But a war that's interior. That's right. You know, when we're unhappy within, mm -hmm. we create that turbulence out. You know, all that's of right. those dictators out there that are conducting wars right now, mm -hmm. they are people who are actually miserable with who they are mm -hmm. their inner child is crying out for love <laughs> and instead yeah. of becoming the love they've become the bully mm -hmm. because they don't know how to be the love that's right, right? Yeah. and and this is why you've got people who lash out to become violent is because there's a lacking with inside of them they mm -hmm. don't know how to find that center yeah and be present and become the love yeah. because they're they're living their life completely based on what the exterior life has treated them. Mm -hmm. If we look at things do happen to you, yes. But when we make them happen for us, what did I learn from this? How could I become stronger? Mm -hmm. What abilities have I learned about myself because yep. of what I'm going through? And look at it as a gift instead of, you know, of being the victim, mm -hmm. right? Now, I'm sure. not saying that you can't cry or be angry or be mm -hmm. in pain yes yeah. those are emotions that you need to spend mm -hmm. don't get caught there yep. because when you get caught there you get negative you get bitter mm -hmm. you get angry you get hateful you get violent mm -hmm. that doesn't serve anyone right right learn from it learn the lesson it's called invisible yes. thinking is always always bounce back always you know, yeah. learn whatever things gonna happen. Sometimes you you might get angry at somebody, but it's important you, you go back to yourself and learn from it. Why did I get that kind of emotion? What is it the next time? What is it I can do not to get into the emotion? Yeah. You know, just learn from this every every single process is that's that happens to you, which is negative energy. It's gonna yes. happen, and that's how we learn. That's the only way we can learn is by experiencing it. So it's okay, you know, to experience. What's important is always try to go back and self-reflect and you know realize realization is very important that's how you grow your soul too so well you know that's, what that's uh, the mindset right yeah, yeah. well if the thing is in the soul heart and spirit has an intellect and that is so much more powerful than the mind Mm -hmm. But the mind is the one that keeps dictating how things should be or how I want to feel mm. or how this or that. Or right. if, I, if I'm rich enough, I'm popular enough, I'm this mm -hmm. enough, I'm that enough, yep. then I'll be loved. Yep. Uh, sorry, we've got a huge big bang going on. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I heard it, yeah. It's the house falling down, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but, um, when we realize that everything we want lies within us, through us. Yep through us, then we don't need the exterior mm -hmm. to become something that's important mm -hmm. to us. That's but right. If we are constantly trying to chase something of where the ego needs mm -hmm. to be gratified, yep. right, then we're always chasing, we will never be satisfied. Right, that's right, right. You know, funny thing is, if you try to look inside an inner self, and you try to find peace and harmony within yourself, Again, that's going to manifest out to the world. So your life, external life is going to be beautiful and well, yeah. wealthy. And, you know, it's just going to be better and better. So it's really, at the end of the day, you're going to, you, you'll be the winner internally yeah. and also externally as well. Right? And even if you're not doing, you end your life with a not so beautiful external life, but you, as long as your soul is beautiful, when you go yes. back to heaven, God, Buddha, universe, Jesus, whoever you believe in, who pat on your back and pat on your hands up, you did a good job, you know, and don't worry about it. This is your true self and you're going to be living a happier life after. So, And if know, we don't, if we don't go back having learned our lesson, 
Mm -hmm. When we do come back here to Earth, we may be a beautiful blank slate as a baby, but mm -hmm. the DNA of unfinished business uh -huh. lies within you. Sure, and that sure. will come up for you That's to right. face. Yep. So you don't want to impose any nope. unfinished mm -hmm. business on That's a right. poor innocent child in the next yeah. life, right? right? So clear it's it up in this uh, life. Yeah. It's, it's a calmer thing. It's called it karma, is. right? Yeah. yeah. In Buddhism term, it's but in a karma. lot of ways, that's where we kind of look at curses. You know, a curse is, is something that we looked at as um, being passed on. This is cursed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm cursed. The family is cursed. Mm -hmm. You know, and we look at it as being a hereditary type thing. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying that was that person's journey, it's not mine. Mm. True, true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Also, curses, again, we've been talking about the, uh, you know, negative energy, negative thoughts. Curses, uh, something that is happens happening every day every yes. day everywhere it's just flying around us everywhere it just mm -hmm. it just the uh, concentrated negative thoughts or willpower yeah specifically targeted to a specific person a specific mm -hmm. thing that's <laughs> a curse you. <laughs> right right so you don't yes. need to do any spell no, no, it just there's no magic i mean there is a ritual, you know, I'm sure there is, but, uh, but basically, if you are, let's say, uh, jealous of somebody so strongly, well, you just want this person to vanish away and disappear because she, it's like, she's like my ideal, he's my ideal, I just want to be like them, but I can't, and just get so jealous, the energy of really accumulated negative energy towards that person it's going to become like a, we call them living ghosts actually yes movie. yes yes it's a living it's a ghost hunting ghosts but actually a spirit of living person's energy it's going yeah. to hunt the person and that energy a negative energy will actually you know cause could be, cause illness it could yeah. cause accidents yes right if you like let's say you're just walking down the stairs and all of a sudden just trip down and you feel like somebody kind of pushed you yeah maybe it was like a spirit who pushed you but it could be uh, uh somebody's very really strong negative thoughts who really wants to hurt you so uh, that's a curse so you know you can be cursed but you can also curse others yes so if you a specific person you're just so jealous or you just hate so much that means you have to realize that you're actually cursing the person if you're yes. thinking so strongly. So again, this movie will you know, try to, to show you, visualize visually in, through the story, you know, maybe you might be cursed or you might be getting the negative energy from a specific person or you yourself might be sending out the curse. Yeah. Or you might be the person who are actually attracting those negative energies. You might yeah. be the ones who are pulling them in, right? So. These are the things that we want to share uh, yeah. in this movie. In, in and again, it's, it's, it's people who don't look at it that way. So they're unaware. That's right. right. And that's the thing is the awareness. Awareness. That's right. When, mm -hmm. when you are present, you are aware. You yep. see the signs around you. Mm -hmm. You don't need the cosmic two by four to throw you down the that's stairs right. to get the message, right? right. It's a, um, you, you know, you talked about illness and everything. Well, when you're at dis-ease, in mm -hmm. your life you diseases come into mm -hmm. your life that's because right. That's right. we've got to realize we're 70 percent water in our body mm -hmm. right that water changes its chemistry mm. when it's around negativity when you take mm -hmm. that negativity mm -hmm. on yep. and that negative water is what's fortifying your body mm -hmm. that's so right. if your water changes how can it feed your body and if it mm -hmm. can't feed your body that's where the diseases come in that's right and now you are breaking down Mm -hmm. All because you've chosen that negative spirit. That's right. Uh, which is jealousy, you know, which is um, uh, wanting to control someone, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to be yeah. powerful. And it's all, right. it's all either feeling of ego right. or, or a lack of self worth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Greed, anger, yes. Yes. hatred. Yeah. 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 That's power, right. power. I got to have the power. Mm -hmm. Well, if mm -hmm. you're power driven, and you want to own people and you want to be the best at everything and you've got to be it. That negative vibration that's coming out of you is only going to destroy, 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 destroy. That's right, right. right? It's going to destroy you and also it's going yeah. to give negative effect to other people as well. Yeah. And, and ignite mm -hmm. negativity in other people. Sure, sure. And that that, that the greed and anger and, and you know, conceited and pride, 
it's dangerous, especially pride is dangerous because you don't really realize it that you yeah. are. But even interesting, other people around you will realize it. Oh, yeah. Say something you you praise by some, something, and you feel so happy, and all of a sudden you you or you make a little success. All of a sudden you feel good about yourself, right? So you know you act upon it, and that is healthy. It's good, yes. but sometimes if it goes too much. Uh, you don't really notice you're doing it, yeah. but other people are gonna say, "Hmm, seems like you know, Utebi-san is has got a little bit no, like yeah. a Pinocchio yeah. long you've got a, Yeah, you've got ahead of yourself. Yes. Little, you know, what's <laughs> yeah. happening with him? You know, he's yeah. a little different nowadays compared yeah. to that. That must be the humility. The, yeah, that must be the little success he had. The people around you would notice it just like that, but you yourself don't realize it, and that's why it's very dangerous. We call them instant instant uh, long nose gobbling <laughs> you know, right, like, right yes it just ha instantly happens so yeah. you don't even realize it it's very dangerous well you've also got the people who don't want you to succeed mm, when they course. see they That's see you coming at one That's with right. yourself and you know i call them the piranhas uh mm, because yeah, yeah. the more energy you're gaining and uh -huh. that and the more you are becoming at one with yourself they want to go after that energy That's and right. suck it out of you yeah. and it's because um, sometimes it's not necessary. They don't want you to have it. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes it is. You know, who do you think you are? Why do you yeah, think you can get called, ahead? Again, jealousy, right? You yeah. want jealousy, but also yeah. it's misery loves company. And if you've sure. decided to step away from misery, who's mm -hmm. going to keep them company? Yep, yep. So they want to bring you back down. A mm -hmm. lot of it too is other people are not willing to be accountable for their own choices. Mm -hmm. And so you are uh, excelling and leaving that that uh, platform and going mm -hmm. into that self-love and becoming that beautiful essence you are mm -hmm. makes them feel well they're showing me up i right, you know i'm not right. going to do this work i'm not going to do that so i'm going to bring them down <laughs> right and i always yeah. say to people who i call on soul recovery those that are finding the soul heart and spirit connection remove yourself from negative people and negative environments mm -hmm. the very best you can sure. even if it's family loved ones good mm -hmm. friends if uh, if they can't be there for you in support mm -hmm. you need to isolate yourself and go mm -hmm. very often actually the isolation of yourself is good because that's where mm -hmm. you learn to listen to your divine source sure. Sure. and your beautiful self but yeah. it's very important that you're not around that negativity mm -hmm. That's true. That's how you protect yourself from, yeah. again, the curse too. So, yes. you know, if you meditate, uh, so, so sometimes like, you know, suddenly you see this specific person's face, mm -hmm. you know, visualize this person's face and you don't know why this person just came up. You, you just even, wasn't even thinking about this person. And you don't, if you feel positive energy, that means the person is thinking positive about you. So that's great. Give the love back to them. Right. Connect energy, bigger yes. energy of love. But if you feel uncomfortable or if your shoulder starts to ache or your back starts to ache, that must be a negative sign, right? Okay, this person must be thinking not positive thing about me. So you have to be very careful. And that's how we can realize sometimes, you know. Uh, and, and just okay, project white light that. to them. Yeah. project white light of love on them mm -hmm. this the their energy is nothing to do with me i right. do not accept it that's right and i project white loving yep. light on them mm -hmm. so we reflect back reflect that's back right. with love yep you know uh here is some love kind of mm -hmm. call me when you're in the love state yeah. that's right. while you're in this other state i'm not uh -huh. around <laughs> yeah so in this movie there's a uh you know the uh the, the curse lipper uh, Shioko was, you know, has uh, the line where she said, you know, just look into yourself and look yourself as a mirror, mm -hmm. okay, and reflect upon yourself as a mirror because that's that's how we can really realize what is coming to you, what is wrong in your in your mind, and reflect upon yourself. So it's like a reflection. So you, yeah. yes, you can reflect with the power of light and love. You can actually it's almost like living in a different dimension you yes. know compared to the negative energy if you stay in the next same dimension with negative energy you're gonna get hit but you know get yourself up a little bit then they will not be able to hit you so yeah. you know the the in negative energy negative thoughts let's say if somebody you know really doesn't like you and start to hit you with negative energy if you are in the highest stage of you know love and positivity the energy cannot hit you so it has to go somewhere, right? Because the thoughts is when sent out to the universe, 
it has to go somewhere, but it's not coming to you. So what's going to go? It's going to go back to them. Yeah, exactly. You just have to return. You just have to return back to them, and they're going to, you know, get get. You, they're going to get hit by their own negative energy. Right. That's why if you think negatively too much, it's not healthy for yourself, and it's going to build bring you down. Boomerang well. back. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to bring me back. So yeah, I, yeah. when I, I, in my coaching, uh, I would have mirror therapy. Mm. where um, I would have people write out a list of everything they felt was wrong in their mm -hmm. life and everything that was against them and then everything to be grateful for and the grateful mm -hmm. list used to be smaller than the gripe yeah, list right, right then right. I would have them speak into the mirror all the things that mm -hmm. are negative and then look at your posture look at your face look at your energy how do you feel in that moment right right, right, right. now let's take a deep breath and the cleansing and everything else mm -hmm. and now be present, go into mm -hmm. oneself, look at all the grateful things and sure. every gratitude, pause, digest, mm -hmm. absorb, look at your posture, look at your face, look at your mm -hmm. whole energy level and yep. how it goes up. But sure. actually doing this in the mirror where they actually get mm -hmm. to see their body and their face and sure. their whole energy change mm -hmm. is a really good reminder. So sometimes if you that's need right. a boost, go to your mirror and have a conversation. That's interesting, yeah. <laughs> real mirror, yeah. That's, yeah. that's real that's mirror. Beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful, yeah, yeah. And you just mentioned the, the gratitude word, yes. right? So gratitude is the most, most powerful weapon we have to go against negative energy or the curses. Yeah. So because nothing can win over gratitude. <laughs> You, no. just, you just can't. I mean, no. nothing can, right? It's so, appreciation. And that yeah. appreciation is love. It's kindness. Yeah. It's caring. It's consideration. Yeah. It's compassionate. It's collaboration. Right. Everything. You yeah. know, everything. It's all under that umbrella. And if you wake yeah, up every is. morning, you know, oh, thank you. I am awake. Mm -hmm. I have a whole day in front of me of possibilities. Mm -hmm. What excitement lies before me today? Right, right. Instead right, of, oh, right. God, another day. That's <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah. Feed with gratitude and mm -hmm. wonderment. And mm -hmm. that is the energy that you will go through your day That's with. That's right. You know, this is something that you know, how much we talk, if you don't, you don't practice it, yeah. people will never realize what we're talking about. Right, exactly. But the person who practices really understand how powerful, you know, having a gratitude energy will change your entire life. Yes. Because that's really, that's really the core, you know. Um, and I don't know, I've been talking a lot about gratitudes and, you know, when we use the word gratitude, it, sometimes it just doesn't come across to the person. Yeah. But if you practice it and how you feel every day, if you practice gratitude for like a week, just even though if you don't feel gratitude, just yes. pretend you have a gratitude. Make it till you make it. <laughs> right. <laughs> just try to make yeah. yourself to, to change your mindset to, to have gratitude. And one day you're going to realize, oh my God, this power of gratitude is really giving me this energy positive energy coming from within it just you know um never ending yes energy you know of love and power that comes uh, from within inside and it's like uh, it doesn't stop it's no. it's a uh, there's no limit it's a limitless energy yes and it, it all it all comes from gratitude and it is such a powerful and actually in a way it's pretty easy way yeah. you know what I, if you, and, and it's very simple to find the gratitude because it easy. is because you just look at all the beauty around you yeah. that you're grateful Anything. for Anything. You know, your, i'm grateful i have a roof over my head i'm grateful for my family or i'm grateful mm -hmm. for my yeah. health i'm grateful yeah. for the fact that i have a possibility yeah today. right and, and, and right. the food and you eat yes it, anything just yeah. just you know have a gratitude towards it and that will change your life yeah. completely so whoever yeah. is listening you know, we both understand it. Just practice yeah. for like a week. Yes. But, you know, it's the simplest thing you can do. Okay. You don't need to sit down and meditate and, you know, right. before do anything like that, just do the you know, gratitude and, and that, that will repel the curses too. You know, you're yes. going to be able to repel the curses at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. yeah, gratitude is so powerful, I think. You know, concerning, <laughs> um, you know, um, meditating, I have Michelle Pascal, who is actually a meditation um, master mm -hmm. and he said it in to meditation and silent is not meditation that mm. is contemplation That's that right. is being centered yeah. but uh -huh. we need to be that meditation again he takes people to times square and shows them mm. how to be the mountain and mm. centered amongst the chaos mm, when we can master that 
-hmm. when we could be the peace amongst the chaos mm -hmm. when we could be centered and calm amongst the chaos mm -hmm. then we have found our presence mm -hmm. we are open to receive we are at yeah. peace with self mm -hmm. and a lot of people you know you can't do that with a closed heart the soul cannot speak through a closed heart and people say to me but i've been hurt i've been injured i don't know how to open my heart again and i said extremely simple Mm. You go into nature and you hear the birds sing in the trees. Mm -hmm. You watch the breeze rustle the leaves. You hear the water kiss the shore. You hear the laughter of a child, a puppy dog chasing a stick. And you look at all of these things and they will make your heart smile. Mm -hmm. And as the heart smiles, so will your mouth and your lips smile. So will your eyes smile. So will your aura smile. And the more and more you immerse yourself in the simplicity and the beauty of nature and the joy of living, the more and more your heart will open up. And the more that mm -hmm. opens up, the more the soul can speak through it, the wisdom, the more the spirit can open up and the more the mind will calm down. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I, I like the interesting part where you have to be able to get that to that mindset yeah. in Times Square. Yes. <laughs> that's like, that's the key because it's in a way it's easy for, uh, for us to just leave all the society, what's going on in front of us and just live in the mountain. That's, that's possible. And yes. a lot of people have done it before and people still doing it. But if you want to really be part of society and be a good part of a society, yeah. let's not escape. But right return <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's good to escape and get your energy up and but some one day you just have to come back and return and give it back to to the society so yes. i really love the idea of getting that into that in tuning state in times square yeah i, no, really I, I invite you actually to listen to show. michelle yeah. pascal i've actually got that's him on great. this week uh, mm, um but he's beautiful. always about that mastery and you know um he is a singer and he's actually got um uh yoland yoganda uh, the indian guru from mm -hmm. the 1920s mm -hmm. uh, of great teachings and uh, so he's actually done a musical kind of a hip-hop mm -hmm. musical using wow. the words and the inspiration from it and it's like it's um which was all channeled through him mm. the the first song was channeled through him the whole movie mm -hmm. was channeled through him and it um and that's the thing is that when people are in a space of doing something they love a musician a writer a chef a cook an artist a mother a father you know when you are immersed in something you love doing mm -hmm. you are actually in meditation yeah that's true that is so true yeah mm -hmm. you don't have to be sick cross leg going home mm -hmm. you know yeah. meditation is being present yeah with oneself. that's right, that's right. And when it's you like know a, what you're doing, you are yeah. present. Yeah, you can work in the busiest time square. You can work in, in the Wall, uh, Wall Street, busy, yeah. you know, money flying around. You can still be in a meditated state, right? Yes. Yeah. It's, in the it's stock all market, everybody yeah, yelling. Stock market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can still and, be there and do the same thing, but yes. yet your mind can be in yeah. this. It's just switching <laughs> everything off from the outside yeah. and just going. It's be difficult, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, yeah so. and that takes training. It takes does, practice, yeah. you know, and that's sure the thing. Does. Nothing's going to come to you. The more you open up and allow the mm -hmm. soul wisdom to come through your yep. heart and spirit, the more you understand what it is you need to do mm -hmm. yep, and how right. to do it, right? Yep. And the more that you do it, the better you become at it. Mm -hmm. So it, the thing is, it's about don't expect this all to happen just overnight. Snap fingers, I'm going to meditate. Everything is going to be hunky-dory. Right. You know, even I, who is a very spiritual person who lives very much in my spirit, still has that earthy condition thing sure. that keeps coming and interfering of course. that you've of got course. to be mindful of. It does mm -hmm. take you um, being present with your presence and being acknowledging where your presence is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and going into that presence because we, as human beings, we get kilted off. That's so right. we do have to practice. We do have to be aware mm -hmm. yep. um, and to and make sure that we don't rise up to that negativity mm -hmm. and we don't get caught up in it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. And, that, and that's especially at the time when you need mm -hmm. to go into your own positivity. Yep. Right. 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 And you also mentioned that you, if you're doing something that you really love, you can be in meditative state. But then again, you know, the listeners might, might say, well, but I don't like my job. <laughs> you know, right. like, I, I envy the person who can be a musician or whoever, like, like yes. you know, a uh, uh, movie producer, just do the things that they love in their life. But hey, I got to go to wherever, you know, work to uh, uh, nine, nine to five. 
and that's a misery life. If you're thinking like that, and that is again wrong because it doesn't change matter. your job. <laughs> it doesn't matter where yeah. you are. Yeah. You change your mindset. Yes. Bring your positive energy. Yeah. Then you can you're gonna start to either love your job so much, even though you might not be a musician, you're gonna enjoy your love. Yes. Uh, you know, a job or university is gonna give you op an opportunity. Another opportunity to move on. To move yeah. on. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. So it's all got to be open here, to it. Right? Yes. But yeah. you know, another... not here. I don't like to be. I like here. here. Yes. I no. Like the, 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 the wisdom yeah. and everything is is in the heart, soul, and spirit intellect that then speaks to the mind for what the mind needs to know. If yeah, we're only in our head, right. we're always in confusion. That's right? right. But you know, there's another word that you brought up, which I think is absolutely imperative: is attitude, mm -hmm. especially yeah. when it's an attitude of gratitude. Uh, but our attitude and how we view life, even you know, oh, whoops, I fell down and cut my knee, right? You know, I didn't lose a leg, <laughs> you know, yep. positive attitude, right? Oh, I met this great person that put the Band-Aid on. I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't scraped my knee. Mm -hmm. For everything that feels negative, there is always a positive side to That's it. That's right. That's and right. That our attitude is what's going to have that show up. Mm -hmm. If we're in negative, well, we're going to go track negative. When we're right. in the positive attitude, mm -hmm. then we've got people who are going to be solutionists. Mm -hmm. You know, people that yep. we need to meet that are going to help us move forward. That's in right. Life. That's so that right. attitude is really yep. important. Yep, yep. It's really, that's everything. You know, yes. gratitude and now positive attitude. Those yes. two are probably the key words for today. But it's really important because it can really, really, it's going to change your life. You know, I mean, you if you, if you believe that, if you think about uh, all the great people who are su successful yeah. person, succeeded, basically, if you look into their history of life, they had a misery childhood. Or, yes. You know what I mean? They went through they a struggled. lot of struggles. They struggled. A lot yeah. of struggles. Yeah. But they always believe, but even though how much I struggle, I know I'm going to I'm gonna make it, or I know I'm going to be, be a very good person, good, uh, live a good life. And that attitude really brought you know, the success and, yeah. and the beautiful and happy life to them. So, you know, what we look as an overnight sensation took 10 years to get there. Right. <laughs> right. right. If you love something enough, you'll mm -hmm. ride the hurricane. Yep. Right. I, but, right. I, but the hurricane is teaching you. It's giving you all the schools. You mm -hmm. know, I, I love watching these entertainment shows like The Voice, the singing things, etc. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. the people that have natural talent or the people that have been trained, Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but it's the people who have had life experience. Mm. And when they put that life experience in that song, you resonate, mm -hmm. you feel it. Yeah. It may not be perfectly pitched, but mm -hmm. my God, it hit my heart. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. right because right. their life experience is in there. Mm -hmm. That journey to, to be on that stage in front mm -hmm. of this audience is, uh, is what they're sharing with us. Mm -hmm. And that is something. Don't be afraid to have the experiences mm -hmm. because right. they they become they become your entire package mm -hmm. in, in the way that you share that experience of how you overcame sure. and who you are today because of that experience. Sure, sure. And that experience we can by sharing, we can also be influenced yes. by them and it will change our mindset as well. So the person is already giving a positive influence by sharing what they went through right so yes that's important too yeah yeah i love There's, those shows too yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i know i mean i just i love yeah. seeing people yeah you know uh excel with you can see the people that uh -huh. are very confident and then all of a sudden they start breaking down because they yeah. were in their head or in their ego uh -huh. and then the other people who don't realize how good they are and each round they get better and better and better because mm. they step in at one with self yeah sure they sure. connect within uh -huh. And that allows them to exude out, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So they're a wonderful example of that. Uh -huh. And they're a wonderful inspiration, which begets invitation to others. Yeah. You know, if they can do it with their background, surely yeah. I can face whatever I need to face and, you know, get out of that miserable job or that miserable uh -huh. life I'm in and go and seek something That's right. that That's I right. feel I belong to, that gives uh -huh. me meaningful purpose, that yeah. gives me joy, that uh -huh. gives me positivity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. It's all it's, up to us. Yeah, it's the, uh, I think, I, I forgot who's, who, who did she say, but, you know, ele elephant's uh, leg is tied to a little chain. Mm -hmm. And elephant thinks he can never move out of that chain because 
his change. Yes. The elephant is so big and change is yes. so small. Oh, he's got to just make one step over it. Yeah, go, exactly. But he just thinks, you know, he cannot go because I'm changed. You know, that's what a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of us are in that kind of situation. So. Yes. Captive. We're, we're held yeah. captive. captive you know, not yeah. by the positive, but by, mm -hmm. by the restrictions of what we believe we're capable of doing. That's right. That's right? right. So we put the, the, the ball and chain around ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's right? right. That's right. And a lot of times it's influenced by other people's voices. It, Exactly, exactly. And, you know, those voices, unless they are inspiring you and serving you in some mm -hmm. way, they're, they're, they're not there for That's you. Right. There may be a reflection back to the other people. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had this saying now for over 20 years, positive thinking equals positive living. Mm. Right. Um, when we decide to think positively, then again, the soul, heart, and spirit opens up with that divine wisdom and intellect. And our living becomes so much more positive because mm -hmm. we've chosen Right. You know, the the show we're on, choose positive living, you know, when mm -hmm. you choose it and life is about choice. Yep. We can't always choose what happens to us, mm -hmm. but we can choose what we do with it. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. So I when agree. does this movie come out? Oh, it's going to be released uh 21st of october so a couple right. days from today which we are talking mm -hmm. uh it'll be in the movie theaters across the states united states uh, where are you by the I'm way i'm in canada okay Can that's canada right. so, also in canada too toronto and vancouver only toronto vancouver two two cities and so it's coming up this weekend and but it will be released in the vod dvd as well right 2023 springtime so Whoever is not near uh, the, the the location, they can always watch DVD. And the, there's a website, you know, mustasaltmovie.com, mustasaltmovie.com, and you can check out all the theaters that's that's playing from this weekend. Yes, so. um, yeah, and you know the the important thing about all of this is that I mean I want people to go back and listen to the other shows and look at the other movies which they all have access to, mm -hmm. because every single movie is has a message it's a you know i always say the storytelling is the very very best form of of teaching mm. because through the storytelling we identify mm -hmm. you know it, this story may be totally different to my life but oh my goodness yeah. i identify how she feels there or how mm -hmm. he feels there or i do that too or that's happened to me mm -hmm. and then it becomes something but how did they resolve it how did they find the courage to come through it? What did they do that I can apply to my own mm -hmm. life? So it becomes that wonderful, yeah. you know, um, journey that is absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. uh, of teaching. And at the same time, you know, be inspirational and entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'll just give you like these five short stories within this movie. One is about a girl, a high school girl who is jealousy of an other girl. So you can realize what kind of a, you know, a negative energy jealousy is. Another, another story is about a, a scammer, a comment who tries to, uh, uh, you know, scam or uh, the uh, fraud, uh, right. conduct fraud, COVID fraud, actually. Yes. <laughs> Corona fraud to the elderly women. Mm. Okay, so he takes the money out of this elderly women. Another one is about anger. This man is bullied in, in his his work so when he comes back home he needs to release the energy of negativity so where does he go he goes to his wife and his child so it's a it is a topic about domestic violence right it's pretty common everywhere oh, around yes. the world not just the us and also there is uh there's anger and there's another thing about ignorance it's about the university professor He's a very established professor. And he talks about, he teaches about the supernatural phenomena, like UFOs and fireballs and things like that. But he doesn't believe in none of the spirituality. He thinks everything is science. So, you know, what kind of, you know, a mindset, a negative energy that this kind of person, a person who doesn't believe in spirituality, talks about spirituality with yeah. the world. And the last one is about the pride. Again, we just talked about this, right? Yes, this very top top class uh, elite person. He thinks he's like the top of the world. He can control everybody and everything. But at the end of the day, uh, he realizes there's a big battle between him and uh, the master soul. She's the, the cursory pillar. Um, so this so, is all the, the, 
the life lessons that each one of them yeah, has yeah. to learn. And yeah, again, it's and very, again, you know, so many people it relates mm -hmm. to in so many yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah, we try to create it so it's very relatable. It's not yes. about somebody going into the world and going to the jungle and fight this evil spirit or evil, right. but it's happening every day. So you can really relate to it. It just give, makes you think like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then it reflects back to you, you know, okay. like, oh, God, that character is way too much yeah, like me. Okay. You know? Or like, oh, I, know I have a tendency to do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have, I know the person and yeah. it's kind of very uh, over, over, it's very over actually easy to understand. So maybe it doesn't reply back to you as yourself, but, you know, the way of thinking, the mindset can be related to yourself and also to, to other people. So I hopefully, again, we talked about reflection today. So, you know, think of, by, by looking at this, this movie, you can realize, you know, maybe there's something I have to really think about myself and yeah. purify my heart and spirit, uh, because I think I'm giving either sending out negative messages to the world, if you are, by understanding it, by mindful, realizing it, you can stop that, you know, right away. Like, okay, from here on, I have to stop this thinking because this is not good. I'm sending out negative energy. Let me stop it. I hate this person because we know, I know 100% he's wrong or she's wrong. All the things that they've done to me is wrong. But again, this is where forgiveness, forgiveness. <laughs> gratitude comes, right? I know it's going to be difficult for you to give, send out positive energy and gratitude and forgiveness to the specific person because they are so wrong. But again, you know, you got to be, you can become a higher level person. Right. right? Well, yes. the forgiveness releases you. Okay. Yeah. The thing Maybe is about forgive. what people don't understand when you hear people who have forgiven people who have murdered their children or their husband, their spouse, yeah. whatever, or have yeah. done them wrong. Yeah. That forgiveness is to release you That's from right. their energy. Yeah. But That's at the right. same time in that forgiveness, it incites some humility within them. Mm -hmm. If this person can forgive me for what yep. I did, yep. is the forgiveness within myself. That's right. Because That's we right. don't want to condemn. And there, look, let's just face it. There are certain beings, out, human beings out there that no amount of forgiveness or, or rehabilitation yeah, right. is There's ever going no to change way, them. Right? Never, but yeah. most people are driven into crime or driven into something mm -hmm. through the misery of their own lives. That's and, right. And when you can forgive them and again reflect, you know, here is white light love on you. Mm -hmm. I won't forget. You can never forget. But when you take the pain out of what's happened to you mm -hmm. and you can talk about it because you have forgiven and you have yep also love and nurtured yourself that's right it no longer you're no longer a victim of it that's right that's right you and know so, sometimes yeah we understand some of the issues and some of the experience yeah. that some people have listeners have might you might say but this is what happened to me yes how can i forgive this you know right totally understand that you know we make your choices yeah. based but, on what we know in the moment yes you can do it yeah because we've all God, done that yeah yeah, God will that. never, God will never give us something that we cannot overcome. Exactly. Again, it's a soul training. You gotta, yeah. you gotta challenge yourself. And the harder the issue that you have, more love you're giving by God. Right. Because God's and, saying to you, "Don't worry. I know it's difficult, but I giving you this challenge yes. because you can overcome it." I, I sound like a priest now, but the, no, no, no. That's that's so true. Love you know? is the yeah. highest form of energy. Yep. the highest frequency mm -hmm. that there ever is, you know, mm -hmm. and the thing, it's not about the loving act. It's being the loving person. That's right. It's being that love yourself. Right. Because right. then the act of you will mm -hmm. transcend you. That's right. It's and gonna people to can you. change. People can repent. People mm -hmm. can uh, heal themselves. We make yep. choices in the moment based on what's going on in our lives or what mm -hmm. we know. Yep. There isn't any one of us that we don't look back and go, oh, God, I wish I'd made a better choice. Or I mm -hmm. wish I hadn't done that. That's but right. at the time, we reacted in that way based on what mm -hmm. we knew. That's if right. we can own it, apologize for it, mm -hmm. forgive for it, and learn from it, then we move on. That's we don't right. keep harboring it. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Life is here, as you said. Mm -hmm. We're on that soul journey mm -hmm. to learn. And we're here to learn how to have a wonderful human experience. Mm -hmm driven by the spirit that's right that's right yeah so in this movie when uh, uh the master soul repels evil and curses 
she you know this always uh, the catchphrase she says she says reflect upon yourself and go back to the, 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 the. but she never says go back to hell right she says go back to heaven right. or you know or find your true mission you yes. know she says something very positive so it's not about you know hating something or yeah. who, what is negative but really we even the negative things that's happening or even the person who's thinking so evil we still want to save them as well and that's what god's universe wants to do yeah. is to save everybody on the soul but sometimes they get to the point where it's so extreme we just can't help them then sometimes we need to protect the ones that's being bullied, that's been you know affected. So in order to protect them, sometimes we do need to fight off, you know, evil spirits and and you know uh, curses and things, negative energy and things like that. But in the bottom of our heart, we should never hate them and you know, hate that. No, because that hate is hurting allowed. you. Yeah, there's that be hate allowed, is yeah. hurting you. It is mm-hmm. going to grow like wildfire in you, that's and right. it's going to take away any form of reasoning. Mm -hmm. any form of clarity Um, yes you can have an upsetting reaction to something and you can be very upset and totally dislike what that person has done Mm -hmm. but at the same time um if we did the no blame and the no shame there everybody is accountable for their actions Mm -hmm. including Mm -hmm. us as survivors right Uh, we're accountable of how we choose to heal ourselves now i'm not uh I've been a victim of crime myself. I know mm-hmm. how it leaves a scar, mm. right? That scar will always be there. It will always yeah. be a reminder. It's also mm-hmm. a warning to pay attention. That's right. Right. So, yep. you know, the, the, uh, and it will obviously set off triggers when I feel that same kind of danger mm-hmm. towards sure. me. Sure, right? sure, So, you know, don't stay in the victimization mm-hmm. and start hating and loathing and this yep. thing and that. That is destroying you. That's right. And everybody around you, because nobody can live in that hate mm-hmm. for so long without yep. you know, the disease and the, the destruction of a family. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you know, it is, this is what happened to me. I'm not going to give that person any energy, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore I depower that person on, the, mm-hmm. on what they did to me. I'm mm-hmm. giving that loving energy to myself mm-hmm. so that I can heal from this. Right, right, right. Yeah. All back to love. That beautiful mm-hmm. corny word, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so corny, but it's so true, right? Yeah, true. Love, love makes the world go round. Gratitude, <laughs> yes. positive thinking. Yeah. People can say, wow, you know, I wish I could do that, but it's so yeah. true. Just do it. And it yes, works. Just do it. You <laughs> know, the like really Nike works. thing, you know, stop arguing with yeah. it. Just be it. Yeah. You know, it do works. it to be it. It works 100%. It does. Always. Always. Yeah. Never <laughs> fails. Never fails. Never fails. And yeah. it's like a breath of fresh air and mm-hmm. everything about your life will become calmer amongst the mm-hmm. chaos that's right and every time you feel the chaos creeping in that's the time to have that little mirror mm-hmm. talk okay right. right right you know what outside uh, you know i'm going into the outside and not the inside back to mm-hmm. presence yeah and when right. you're in that presence that divine god's love comes through you mm-hmm. it guides you it's your generator it's your guidance system mm-hmm. it's your conscience and it is yeah. always your clarity mm-hmm. yep always that's true. So they can go to mastersaltmovie.com. Mm-hmm. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. And, and obviously every movie that you have out there actually actually has its own site. It uh, does, yeah. Which, yeah, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. So people could go to that. Um, but uh, do you have an overall site that people can yeah, go to? Yeah, it's called the hsproduction.com, hspro. But that's the company that's the, doing all the distribution. So hs hs that's dash pro right so hs dash productions dot com right if you go there there's a whole list of the movies that uh, we right. we've done in there so yes and of course the whole list of the movies is right here at selfdiscoverymedia.com and all you have to do is put in his name yoshi okay. y-o-i-c-h-i <laughs> It should be U-T-E-B-I, the Japanese movie producer, and you'll see all the movies up here. Mm-hmm. I do invite you to listen to the shows and why, because you don't do things just, oh, yeah, next movie, let's cash it in. No, every movie has a very significant focus, mm-hmm. a very yeah. significant meaning. Uh, and it is not just for Japanese people, it's for all people. Mm-hmm. And it's a reflection of society. And yeah, how we is. can be the best we can be and not 
fold into the negativity. Right, right, right. And the movies are getting better, better each time. So yeah. <laughs> this one is the best one so far. I, I that I can promise this is the best one so far. So wonderful, yeah. great. <laughs> and you know, just looking at the characters that you have in there, I think you know every single one of us has been one of those people mm. at some point, right? That's right. Uh, and it's like just to to see it as a a reminder of maybe where you've been and you're not there anymore mm -hmm. or maybe a nudge nudge are you doing that mm -hmm. is this your reaction yep. or knowing somebody who is doing it mm -hmm. hey let's have a talk about that right you know and it's very often we do things unaware mm -hmm. because we're not uh, you know centered with self we're not present with self yep. when we become present we see things more clearly so mm -hmm. if somebody is not being present remind them they're living an outside life not an inside mm -hmm. life yep. right so always wonderful to have you. I look forward to the next Thank movie. Thank you so much. I really learned that the keyword, you know, meditate in the middle of the, yeah, the mountain. Yes. That, that like, really tricked me. I'm like, okay. square. Yeah, you know, be the mountain. Be the mountain. That's, mountains, that's, the mountains, like, that's right? a good one. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> and that is so actually much. true. It's not about <laughs> being quiet and you know where do we yeah. where do we when we're in chaos find the moment to be quiet? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have to be the silence. Yeah. It's in oh. us. If we're wanting to go somewhere to meditate, go in <laughs> and you can do that anywhere, right? Yeah. So, yeah, a lot to be learned. Thank you there, so, so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Yoshi. Wonderful mm -hmm. having you here again. All right. Thank uh, you. Folks, see the movie. And if you don't catch it in the cities that it's in, then look out for it uh, next year. It will be there as a, a download mm -hmm. or a, a buy. And uh, yeah. And hopefully one day you'll have all these movies on Netflix as well. I maybe, hope so. Yeah. If there's anybody who knows a good way to get into the netflix yeah, this just, list let me know because i'm having a very difficult i'm still are, trying i'm just still trying bombard them with all of the movies <laughs> and say here you are right, yeah, you know? right. <laughs> we've already got them for you we're still in production mm -hmm. you know and on the message in there you just have to keep bombarding until somebody sure. goes hey there's something here right um yep. but and if not netflix um there is oh gosh i can't remember the like name hulu hulu yeah hulu there's, Roku, a, there's amazon like there's numerous mm -hmm. other you know channels sure. there that mm -hmm. uh, that also go into it so yep. don't give up don't give in just keep redirecting <laughs> yes <laughs> and with a positive yes, attitude positive attitude that's what i have yes definitely <laughs> yeah. all right love thank you so much for sharing it okay everyone thank else you so that, much if you can't catch this movie right now um look out for it in 2023 but go back and look at all the other movies mm, there's good, some beautiful messages and all of the other movies that will entertain you that will inspire you but will give you hmm, pause for thought until yep. next time folks bye for now we hope that you enjoyed the show find all of our shows on selfdiscoverymedia.com under podcasts or selfdiscoverymedia slash shows and for all our current shows go to what's new we are supported by you the audience you will see a nice big shiny blue button for one-time donations or follow us on patreon and you will be able to support us there we enjoy bringing you such wisdom and the next show will be up in just a moment